up guys, DJ Solstice here, not with a gig log, but with a product review, demo, whatever you wanna call it. Check this bad boy out. This is the new RCF 8008 subwoofer. It is a dual 18 subwoofer, 4,400 watts peak. So it's probably about 2,200 program, whatever. 137 max SPL, 176 pounds, dual 18 inch powered, as mentioned before. Uh, it's beast and this is part of their new line of subwoofers, uh, kind of complements with the NX series, same polyurea coating. So it's got that beautiful smell. Uh, don't ask me why I know that, I just do. It smells great, looks great. Shout out to Estes Freight for getting it here in one piece. As you know, RCF stuff is notoriously poorly packaged and this was no exception. Uh, all it had was cardboard around the edges, but it was reinforced, so a little bit better. Would love to see some foam padding just like LD does it, but whatever, shipped freight, so didn't have to worry about any of that. Everything came perfect, it is beautiful, one piece, love that. So uh, I'm gonna take the camera off of the stand and show you a little bit uh, about the unit itself behind it and kind of go from there. Obviously we're gonna hear it too, but the reason I got this, I did have the 8006s. This is their other dual 18 powered, the new model, and it is actually, uh, I have heard it a little bit already, it sounds much better much, much better than the 8006. It's a lot more focused bass and just a cleaner sound overall. There's no rattling of the grill like the 8006 had and uh, it's lower profile so I can fit this under my table without having it look ridiculous. And that's kind of why I got it. Would love to have a dual 18 instead of two single 18s or one 118. And uh, I can fit this in a cargo carrier attached to my trailer hitch. So I don't have to ever bring a trailer. Awesome, right? So we're gonna check this out. I'm gonna take you around the back, show you some of the controls and everything, get it hooked up, and uh, we'll go from there, let's go. So we've got this thing all hooked up. We've got the big beefy grill right there, the blacked out RCF logo. I'm at my parents' house right now because that is where I could test sound equipment and not have to worry about any neighbors, unlike my apartment complex, which has thick walls, but not thick enough for this bad boy. So go into the back panel. I'm gonna try to get a close up of this. If you can't see it, I will. Well, you can start to see it. But anyway, right there is the crossover settings, the presets. So you do have a high pass and low pass filter, as well as a other high pass and low pass filter, but at 40 hertz. We're gonna keep it at 30 hertz on L3. So back panel right here, push the middle knob. It is a gain reducer. So from zero down to negative five, and then all the way to negative five is where I have it. But you can go all the way, I think to 99 maybe. Uh, 5.0 is pretty good where we're gonna start. I may mess with it with the crossover at some point once I take it out in the real world, but for now it's where it's gonna be. Press it again, you get your delay. Over there, that is your preset. Link and crossover are right there at the top right. Dual inputs, dual outputs um, to apply the high pass filter. So that's the back panel. It is a true one connector, so IP rated, true one, and it does have power through. These are the casters, they are not included, obviously. Does RCF ever include casters? So you can get a set of four of these for about 90 bucks, 100 bucks, depending where you get them. They are locking casters, which is nice because it keeps the wheel locked, but it also keeps the position locked. So it minimizes the vibrations and rattling, all that stuff you really don't want. So we're gonna attach my HK audio speaker to this, start to get some sound demos. I'll let you hear it with the Pocket 3 internal mic, and then we'll also film it with my iPhone so you can actually hear the bass a little better and not have it clip. So that is what we're gonna do. So as mentioned, we are gonna do some sound demos right now. So stay tuned and let's just get to it. Once again, this is DJI Pocket 3 internal mic, which may not handle all the bass. And that is why we're gonna give you the iPhone demo after this, which I know it can handle. So get on to it. <laughs>
iPhone 15 Pro with a better mic, maybe. So uh, let me know how it sounds, and we'll do some demos with this, and let's just go from there, right? Let's get something fun to start with. Let's see. Let's go deep. I guess I'll try cool. I wanna leave the phone minus nine we were at minus ten before simply because it balances really well with the top as you can tell the sub is insanely powerful huge deep bass goes all the way down to 30 hertz uh, and it's a true 30 it really does hit as low as 30 uh, there's a few tracks below that that you're just missing those notes that the 21s can hit and the L acoustics can hit but this one can't obvious reasons for that but sounds incredible like I said we're gonna drop it down to minus nine give you a few more demo tracks and let you enjoy that uh, sweet, sweet goodness. A little bit more bass this time.
7.5 is the sweet spot right between 5 and 10. Uh, when you get it up to 5, it does start to have that clip light just come on when it's hitting really hard, like on that Tiesto song. Of course, as long as your clip light is not solid, you're okay. If it's blinking occasionally, you're fine. That's just the protector and the amp doing its job. Uh, obviously, you don't want to see any clip lights, but it's a subwoofer. It's going to do that when it's hitting that bass extra hard. And this thing does thump. Wonderful subwoofer. I'm going to leave you with one more track and we're going to call it good. Definitely recommend one of these. It is, for the price point, probably the best Dual 18 you can buy. They're the only thing that even compares to it. I think JBL has their Dual 18 and you know my thoughts and opinions on JBL products. They suck. So, uh, RCF all the way. I gotta say, compared to the 8006, this is significantly better. Uh, it doesn't have that hollow kind of giant box sound that you get out of the 8006. This one is definitely more of a focused, concentrated, deep, rich bass. It sounds really, really good. I would love to hear what two of them sound like right next to each other uh, or on either side as I do with my Dual 21s. Obviously, it's not gonna compete with the Dual 21. Significantly more investment and size and power but sounds great. So I'm gonna leave you with a couple more, leave it at 7.5. I can't wait to bring this out to a gig and actually be able to test it and give you a real world opinion. Uh, unfortunately, that's not gonna be for a little while. So this weekend, where I'm at tomorrow, filming this on a Thursday, where I'm at tomorrow, does not allow giant subs uh, or super, super loud sounds. So I'm only bringing a single 18 for that. Then the week after that, we're doing the dual 18 all white setup. So we're going to have the L acoustics for that. And then the week after that, we are off. But the week after that, I think is when we're going to finally bring it out. So end of the month, it's going to sit in storage for a little while. Uh, if you do want to get a cover for it, I don't recommend the RCF cover. The RCF covers suck. They are full covers where you just keep the sub inside and unzip the front part. I think that's stupid. It also doesn't really roll well. So. I like the slip covers. Tukey Covers makes those, so even though it's pricey, about $200, uh, I did get a Tukey cover. It should be here tomorrow. It's supposed to be here today, uh, but unfortunately, UPS had a labor strike, apparently. That's what my tracking info says. So that's what we're left with. Gonna do one or two more songs, call it good, and thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. If you're new around here, you know we always have the bass. Soul System Entertainment's always bringing the club level systems, and this is no exception. Love it. Connect.